Vianet, uh, as an organization, has always been very concerned with uh, quality, ensuring high quality uh, to its to its uh, customers. Um, but uh, you know, because of the recent growth that it experienced, um, ensuring that on a scalable uh, way, or uh, ensuring that in in a well-rounded uh, sort of a documented approach was quite a quite a challenge. Because uh, you know, as as you would know, if you if you uh, undergo a growth spurt as an organization, you're more focused towards, you know, uh, strengthening your uh, st strengthening your market uh, presence, mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Uh, so uh, before uh, NRS, um, you know, although the organization was always uh, very committed towards quality, I, I would say that it uh, lacked a formal platform to bind all of its employees within the uh, the concept and the requirements of uh, you know sort of uh, delivering that high level quality that we've always sort of uh, wanted to deliver right so um, the other things was uh, of course uh, an iso certification uh, is always pegged with uh, you know credibility in the marketplace if you're iso certified definitely that's an advantage so uh, i would say with regards to not just uh, you know, sort of uh, credibility in the marketplace, with also with regards to setting up the internal structure to maintain customer centricity and to maintain service quality. Uh, Vianet, although it was concerned, it probably uh, was was struggling to find a formal platform to sort of you know sort of uh, enclose or encapsulate every uh, all the elements within the organization to work towards customer centricity and high quality. So I guess that that is what uh, Vianet was struggling with. For us, it was uh, basically, to be honest, it was the, the, the ex-CEO, uh, you know, like I said, he was a Six Sigma black belt mm -hmm. and sort of uh, he, like he said, he looked at various uh, sort of certification consultancies um, and he decided on NRS. Um, so he, uh, based on his uh, astute, uh, you know, sort of uh, capabilities, decided on NRS because uh, I'm sure you saw something in, in NRS. So it was an easy thing for us because uh, our ex-CEO had uh, so approached uh, NRS and we had also looked at other organizations. So he must have felt that uh, NRS would sort of deliver all our requirements, uh, the best amongst the lot, I would say. And after he went, uh, our uh, executive director uh, sort of uh, sort of uh, got in touch with NRS again and uh, our executive director was the one who sort of uh, pushed for the uh, ISO certification with consultancy from NRS. The process itself was quite enjoyable because like I said uh, you know we were sort of aware of what the requirements were and where, what the requirements were going to be but uh, we I mean we had no ways of being aware of the nitty-gritties that were involved in the documentation. So before the uh, ISO certification process began. We had this desire to uh, sort of uh, give high quality service. Mm -hmm. uh, we had this desire to have high credibility in the marketplace, and we were working towards that, uh, you know, from uh, from within our own means. But we were still largely in knowing the requirements of, uh, you know, what it really takes to work at a level of an ISO certified organization. So the process itself was very enjoyable, mainly because we had an ultimate deadline and we had mini deadline yardsticks and the coordination with the NRS team was so good that we never missed a yardstick or a mini milestone and uh, all of the mini milestones we were able to hit right on the spot or even before the deadline for the mini milestone and ultimately uh, you know we were able to read, meet the deadline without any problems at all they were available uh, you know for any in case of any uh, confusions they were highly cooperative. Uh, the follow-up that they had was extremely uh, commendable. I mean, they could sense that uh, you know maybe we were not up to par with a certain deadline. They sort of used to proactively follow up with us to ensure that uh, you know the, number one there was no confusion, and number two that the things that needed to be done were in fact done. So yes, uh, whenever we had something to follow them up with, they were always very courteous. And, uh, you know, so they kept on pushing us along the way as well. So, you know, uh, the, the ultimate reward is, like I said, we never missed 
uh, a deadline that we set off, set for ourselves, some mini milestones, none of that we missed, and the ultimate deadline we were able to meet as well, or without much assholes, let's say. An ISO certification will always sort of offer you a higher credibility level in the marketplace. Um, for us, it was not just about that. For us, it was about ensuring that beliefs of something like an ISO certification, you know, the requirements uh, of the ISO certification, and the requirement was that all of those things seep into the organization culture, you know, that uh, each department within the organization perform with customer centricity in mind, number one, uh, with, uh, you know, accountability, a uh, strong, strong sense of accountability. Uh, ultimately, all of that should lead to uh, continuous improvement and uh, the fact that the customers receive high quality service. So um, for us, uh, the benefits are that uh, we now have documents for things that we previously didn't have, you know, that ensures that any decisions that are taken are well documented and carried forward and executed in the right way. For us, uh, there's a higher sense of accountability within each and every department inside the organization, right? Um, documented accountability, which uh, is, a, you know, is a requirement of the ISO certification. Uh, for us, like I said, there's uh, you know, a higher level credibility in the marketplace as well. And the hope is, and this is what, I've, what I'm seeing inside the organization, this added sense of delivering higher quality service is slowly but surely seeping into the, uh, you know, the, the organization culture. Each and every uh, member of each and every department is now sort of aware that, you know, uh, aware of how they should improve themselves, how they should improve their own personal work, whether it be in terms of how to interact with, uh, with properly with a customer, and uh, whether it be in terms of how to document the interaction. Uh, you know, all of that are small things that sort of add up to create a higher quality level that we, uh, that we so very desire to sort of, uh, you know, deliver to the marketplace. So the, the benefits are both, uh, you know, for the outside world to see and for uh, us inside the organization to uh, feel and go through on a daily basis. One always has to go through the options available to oneself. But for us, the ultimate uh, choice was with NRS because our management felt that uh, NRS could deliver our requirements in the best way from amongst all the options that we considered. And we did look at uh, multiple options. Speaking from personal experience in working with NRS, they have a very professional team, a very you know, result-oriented team. Your deadline is their deadline for themselves, so they push you accordingly, and uh, they help you along the way in every which way. So uh, I would say that there's no reason for you know companies to sort of hesitate in choosing NRS as their ISO certification sort of consultants. They have a team with not only a high level of uh, drive, but also uh, a high level of expertise to help and guide you along the way to sort of, uh, you know, help you deal with even the nitty gritties, to help you understand the requirements first and what the implications of, uh, you know, certain requirements are, certain ISO clauses are and why it's important, what you can do to meet them in the best possible way. So uh, ju uh, speaking from my experience, uh, I would not hesitate to sort of, uh, you know, recommend others to uh, partner up with uh, NRS Nepal for the ISO consultancy.